Hey YouTube, it's Guy. Today I have a little bit of a different type of review, not my typical watch-related content, but it's, uh, you know, something that I thought would be interesting to show you guys. This is a couple of wallets by the company Core Essentials. Now, I reviewed their belts in the past, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, months, whatever. Uh, so if you had a chance to see that video, you're going to be familiar with their leather good products. If you haven't seen that video yet, I do encourage you to go back and check it out. They do make, in my opinion, hands down, the best belts you can get, at least that I've ever used. And I've used a lot of belts over the course of my life. If you wear a leather belt, you should definitely check out their x-series uh technically they're gun belts they're for you know people that would conceal carry it's a heavy duty belt you don't necessarily need to be a concealed carry permit holder in order to enjoy these belts though they're just fantastic quality so i saw that they had wallets available and i wanted to pick a couple of them up and show them to you guys so that's what we have on the table today they have two different versions i'm going to show you both um both are ex excellent. One of them I have been using for a little while now, a couple, maybe two weeks, and I'm extremely impressed with it. Uh, the other one I haven't really used yet, but I want to show it to you anyway and uh, give you guys an idea of the differences between the two if you're considering picking them up. Uh, first things first, they come in these nice little uh, drawstring uh, baggies. I don't know, it's a cloth or uh, some sort of uh, maybe a linen material bag. Um, you know, that's how they come in a box, uh, in case you're interested in seeing that. Now, one of them's already opened it on the table, and it's full of all of my uh, stuff. So, when you open it up out of the bag, you get basically something like this. On, on this particular wallet, their little uh, paper, I don't know what you call it, keeper, was slid over it. Of course, it won't fit on this wallet anymore, because, like again, it's just jammed full of all of my junk. But anyway, that's the company, Core Essentials, that will be on your wallet. And uh, here's their card, in case you want to find them online. Thanks for your support. Like us on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. CoreEssentials.com. So yeah, go to their website and check out both their belts and, and these wallets. So we have two styles of wallet here. And uh, number one, we have what they call, these are, one thing you really want to take note of, these are slim wallets. If you are sick of a really big bulky leather wallet, this is going to definitely help you out. This is their bifold slim wallet, and uh, you can see it's full of all of my junk there. And uh, my previous wallet, which I'm gonna put on the table and show you what I've been using forever, you're gonna see, like this is really very, very slim. I prefer a bifold wallet, but they also offer, I'll pull this little card out, a uh, what they call just the slim wallet with carbon fiber, money clip. So so this wallet has uh, pockets on the front and on the top you have a big pocket and then a money clip which is removable. So if you don't need the money clip portion you can just have this very very slim wallet. Um, so yeah those are the two styles. I'm gonna go ahead and put the clip back in here and I'm gonna empty out all of my stuff out of this wallet so that I can show you show you them both closely, compare and contrast. I don't wanna open it up and show you my ID and all my credit cards and stuff. So give me a minute, I'll get everything out of there. You'll also be able to see, as you can see, it's obviously full of stuff, right? We're gonna take a look and determine, well, how much uh, does this stretch seem to uh, affect it over long-term use? And again, I've been using it for a couple of weeks but that'll be interesting to take a look at too. So give me just a moment. I'll be right back with some empty wallets. All right, guys. All right, guys, you're gonna notice first thing on the table, I have this guy over here. This is the wallet that I got as a Christmas present from my grandmother when I'm 13 years old, if I'm not mistaken. So we are talking about uh, 24 going on 25 years. I've been using this exact same wallet. And as you can tell, very, very worn. Um, so I've just been hesitant to ever replace this guy. I've had people give me wallets as gifts and 
I'm just like, you know, this wallet that you gave me, I, I'm no one say this to the person that gave it to me, my mother, you know, uh, whoever. Uh, I don't even remember over the years. I, I never say it to them, but it's like, I've got a really good wallet. I mean, it's been lasting me for literally decades, and you gave me this little cheapy thing. This is like a good quality made in the USA leather wallet. Yeah, it's a chain wallet, and when I was a kid, I was into that sort of thing, and, and frankly, it saved me a number of times of not losing the wallet. But I finally decided, all right, it's time to retire this guy. I know that Core Essentials makes high quality leather products. Let's give those a try. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to pull this out of the way. And we are going to talk about the Core Essential wallets in a bit of detail. So number one, the one that I prefer of the two is this guy. It is the bifold slim bifold wallet. I'm going to set the standard slim out of the way and we'll just take a quick look at this one. Uh, bifold wallet has a, a number of excellent features. Number one on the right hand side we have a ID window. I put two IDs in there. I put my driver's license and my concealed carry permit in there. They fit perfectly. There's a little hole in the front so you can just kind of tap it with your thumb if you want to slide the ID out the top very easily. You don't have to go digging in there. Number two, there's a series of pockets on this side. There's a pocket here, which I put my everyday credit card in. There's a pocket here that I keep like my health insurance card and stuff in. And then there's this deep pocket on the back side, which has this nice little pull. And you can see how long that is. I carry in each of these pockets, again, two in the ID slot. Actually, I carry two in this front one, my everyday carry and my Sam's Club card. I carry one in this pocket and I carry five here. So we're talking one, two, three, four, five, and five. Ten total pieces inside this wallet. Now, according to the specifications on their website, um, this is a full grain leather wallet. The inside is lined, as you can see, with this uh, light colored, um, sort of silver in person. On the camera, it might look white. Uh, but it is an RFID blocking interior lining whether or not that works i can't i, I can't you know justify or validate or whatever uh, i i'll take their word for it sure it probably does work i'm not aware of anyone ever trying to like scan my cards from the back of my pocket so so and you know i can't i can't test it myself but rfid blocking interior lining holds 10 cards photo id and 12 bills up behind the photo photo id we have this pocket here for cash and uh you know i've got I don't know, 20, 30, 30, 35 bucks in there or whatever. Um, it will hold up to 12 bills folded in half. So that's basically the layout of this wallet. We have, you know, two little pockets, a, a deep pocket, ID pockets, and a, a pocket for your cash. Uh, again, full grain leather. We'll take a look at the stitching on this. Uh, it's pretty good. No real complaints with it. There's a few spots where the stitching looks a little off, uh, but... It's not terrible. Pretty typical stitching up at the top here. You can see this is kind of like where they probably started or folded it over or ended the stitch or something. Um, but other than that one little spot there, the stitching seems to be good. I haven't seen any evidence of wear or tear on it. Uh, all of the edges, uh, you know, they're all very nice and um, in leather working you call it burnishing when you kind of almost polish the edge. I get that sense that this is nicely finished and burnished. Um, no complaints there at all. The What we want to talk about is this is a slim wallet. When it was loaded up with all my stuff, you could see it like bulging a little bit. But you can see it's not stretched out of proportion at all. I mean, there's just a little bit of a hint of the fact that I've had stuff in there. It was, you know, very flat when I first got it. But overall, very lightweight, very thin, what appears to be very high quality leather wallet. I'm quite happy with this wallet. I'm going to use this one for as long as I possibly can. We're going to see if it happens to last 25 years like my last wallet. I expect that it will, and uh, I'll be disappointed if it doesn't, because it seems like a really, really good high-quality wallet. Now, the second one that they have sent me is the... They call this the Slim Wallet with Carbon Fiber Money Clip. Again, we have the same full-grain leather, the same RFID interior lining. This one has... On the front side, a little pocket, which you could fit, uh, you know, your everyday credit card. Probably, I'm guessing you'd fit two cards in there quite addi um, additionally. Uh, additionally, you could fit two cards in there quite simply. On the top 
edge, we have a pocket where you put, you know, the bulk of your cards. And it also has the same sort of uh, pull tab so that you can access the cards easily. Um, in the other wallet, the pull tab works excellently, so I'm expecting that this one will work uh, similarly as well. Probably would be easier to push it back in if I had an actual card to shove down there, but you can see as you slide cards in there, the pull tab will reseat itself to that position. And uh, when you want to take them out, just give it a, a yank and the cards will slide out the top. Also, there is, like I said, this removable car uh, money clip. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. If you don't want to carry cash around with you, you just take it right off. No problems. If you have, you know, the type of person that likes to carry a little bit of cash on you, slide that money clip in to that slot there, and, you know, no problems. Matter of fact, I'll pull my cash out of the other wallet here, just to give you guys an idea of how, uh, how it looks, you know? Is it, yeah, perfect size. It's exactly as wide as uh, your folded over bills so no no problems there i i kind of wish that it had the same little uh, windowed slot as the bifold for ids but i guess where are you going to put it on this one this one is super thin i mean because this is a bifold obviously, obviously it's going to be quite a bit thicker the uh slim wallet with the money clip uh the right hand side it is extremely thin uh, so if you're looking for a lightweight very very thin unobtrusive wallet this might be the one for you uh, the stitching on this one basically the exact same kind of quality uh, no problems with it at all go around to the other side take a look at all that stitching matter of fact this one doesn't have the little the little bump like the other one does maybe this corner here that's again if probably where the machine starts the uh, the stitch or whatever it gets maybe folded over there somehow I'm not, I'm not a seamstress I don't know how how sewing works but anyway I did want to just take a few minutes to show you guys these wallets I'm really impressed again I like the bill the bifold one a little bit better just my style my preference but I could see where somebody would very much enjoy this one if they want something a little bit slimmer a little bit more uh, you know low-key um, you could definitely go with that one Again, these are Core Essentials. I'll bring their little product information out here. Core Essentials. It is www.coreessentials.com. Um, I loved their belts. I've used them for the better part of a year now. I just got these wallets. I have a feeling I'm going to be equally as happy with them. Also, you can get a 10% off. I spoke with... Um, fellow over there at Core Essentials and said I'm going to review these wallets and he's told me to give you guys this 10% off code. It is just like my channel name, Just Bluefish. You enter Just Bluefish while you're checking out, you'll get 10% off. Uh, I recommend them both. I don't know if I touched on the prices. Uh, let me let me go back if I did. Uh, I apologize. But the Bifold, this wallet here, $39.95. I think that that is a extremely reasonable price for this high quality wallet. The carbon fiber money clip the slim wallet with the carbon fiber money clip is $59.95 you can buy it without the clip you can buy the clip separately I don't remember the price of the wallet without the clip or what the cost of the clip is separately so I can't quote those prices but I'm sure they're available on the website right there if you guys head over there and check it out uh, so anyway we got 40 bucks we got 60 bucks your choice hope you enjoyed these wallets and the review video if you did go ahead and like and share this video and of course down in the notes below this video you will find links to all of my social media including Facebook Twitter Instagram, and most importantly, my Patreon account. If you want to help support the channel, shoot over to Patreon and uh, sign up over there to be a member. I'd appreciate it very much. We'll also have links to Core Essentials website in the notes section below that. And yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you early next week sometime with another review video. All right, bye.